We're going to start this video by me proving I am wearing a shirt and then I'm jumping straight in with my e.l.f. hydrating putty primer. I'm really rubbing that in there. It's not my favorite but I do like it a lot better than the original. And then I'm going in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I was just using the lightest shade that I had. Really wanted to have pale porcelain skin for this video. And I am using the new It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush and I am obsessed with it. dragging that down my neck and my chest. Um, my tan is wearing off from the summer and I haven't self tanned in a minute but I really want it to be super pale for the moon look. And now I'm going in with my e.l.f. original camo concealer. I'm not sure what shade this is but it is a very light shade. I think it's light peach or something like that. But I'm just using that because, again, it is super high coverage and it is super pale, which is what I was going for. And I'm just going to blend that out with that same brush. I do love that brush for that reason. I feel like I can use it to blend out my foundation and concealer. So we're just going and blending that out real quick. And then I'm going in with my NYX Powder Blush in the shade Taupe, an oldie but a goodie. I used to use this to contour all the time. It's just a super gray, cool-toned um, blush that I use to contour my face. Now I am priming my eyes with my P. Louise Eye Base. A little goes a long way. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and the cool tone middle section, the light gray color. I'm just using that in my crease, really going back and forth, blending. I'm going in with my wet brush. I wet it with Fix Plus and I'm using my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette and the shade Moon and I'm just packing that all over my lid. I'm going in with the darker gray from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette just because the eye look wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. And I'm just going back and forth blending that, trying to focus on the middle part of my crease to make my eyes look super round. Now I'm going in back with that Galaxy Chic palette in the shade Electra, and I'm just popping that in my inner corner. It's just a super icy blue shade. Now I'm going in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in black. I was going to do a wing, but I decided I wanted the eyes to look more round. So I'm just lining my eyes with that to give more definition and depth. And now I'm applying some lashes I found on Amazon. They're called Alice eyelashes, and I had cut them to kind of fit more on the edge of my eye. They're just super dramatic foaming lashes. I'm 
going back in with that light gray shade and just buffing it underneath my lash line to give my eyes a little bit more definition. Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and applying that to the top and bottom lash line. I'm going in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and just filling in my eyebrows as usual. is water and iced coffee in each hand that is balance my friends now I'm going in with my NYX wonder pencil in light and applying that to my lower water line just to make the eyes appear more bright and big now I'm setting my face with my Mac fix plus getting ready to highlight And now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighting Palette in the shade Queen. Again, it's just another icy blue highlight shade, and I do really feel like this added to the look. And now I'm going in with my NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick. I want to say the shade is Stone Fox. It's like the most unique shade of blue, almost like a navy blue-green. I thought it looked moon-like, and I really wanted a dark lip for this look. Now I'm taking my um, like grease paint palette that I got off Amazon last year for Halloween, taking the silver color and just a tiny detail brush, and I'm trying to draw an, a, like an upside down crescent moon in the middle of my forehead. You can't see it very well, and I do hate that. I don't know what I would do it with if I were to do it over, because I didn't want it to be black, but it does suck that you can kind of only see it when the light hits it. Just packing on that Electra eyeshadow that I used earlier on there to set the grease paint but also to try to brighten it up and make it more visible which didn't really work but oh well and there you have it this is the finished look I wanted to bring out my tarot card the moon for this look I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see y'all very soon in my next video. Go away. Go away. Go somewhere. Stop. Water. <laughs>